describing my job at Market, it's a place for people to have sometimes their first experience having a card reading or a tarot reading. And I've been doing it since the early, well actually about 1990, 89, 90. I started so a long time at Market. And um, I have a sign up sheet. People can come in and sign up or else you can walk in if I'm available. And they're usually about 10, 15 minute readings, kind of a mini version, although not shallow. It's, we can go really deep, but it's quick and then back out again. And so I can do for little kids and adults and whole families and get the wow factor a lot. And how'd you know that? And boy, I don't know why this works, but it works. And how did you know that? And how did you know that? And I know it by looking at what I see in the cards. It got shut doors, or doors were never opened for me in certain ways. Um, and so when some doors are closed, we all make alternative choices. So I, both my parents worked when I was a kid. I was left alone as a lot as a young kid. So my, and my father didn't believe in, in TV. So my ability to read and, and have a, a magical life was much more accessible to me. And, and being able to live in, we lived in Newport, so those, you know, that our front yard was the bay. And so it offered, I, I had opportunities to explore things that other kids didn't. I didn't get Manhattan, I didn't get museums, I got other things instead, so that shaped me. So, but I think that in a lot of ways it worked for me to kind of go, I'm not going to be like other kids, or I'm not going to have some of the same potential that other women might have. But what do I have? So working with what I had is I had these gifts that I loved and it gave me permission to use them. <laughs> so I feel like I'm, I'm really special in that place of opportunity to read for so many classes of people. So having a non-biased person who doesn't know you, recognize you and acknowledge things about you can be really, it can be so supportive. So I read for a 15 year old yesterday and she didn't tell me anything about herself and it was all this potential for who she, what she could be and she came away going, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty special. And so to have that is wonderful. <laughs> My son, my oldest boy. Yeah, all right. Oh, I've had people spit at me here. I've had people come in and accuse me of it, threaten me that I was I was the evil incarnate. So you have to just let that roll because that's their belief system. Because the work is misunderstood and there's a lot of craziness around it. I know it's and it's like I said, and I'm I'm you know because I'm right here in the corner. I'm available for people to come in and share their their point of view with me, which I don't, we don't have to agree. And <laughs>